Hey, hey, everybody. Donald Ray here. Wanted to bring you some information on uh, what the FDA has just uh, been working on at this facility. This is not to attack a facility. This is just more of an educational video to kind of explain to people that maybe are not in the industry or in the industry or maybe kind of new to the industry, doesn't quite know how the uh, FDA, the 483 letter works and inspection. So this is just kind of a quick overview of what happened last year. And the FDA issued a warning letter this year on it. So welcome to American Food and the FDA. Happened last year. We know about it this year. Anyway, let's go. Birds, rodents, worms, and cockroaches in a food facility leads to FDA warning. Lucky KT Company Incorporated in El Monte, California. In a January the 26th warning letter, the FDA described an April the 18th through May the 11th, 2023 inspection of Lucky KT Company Incorporated. It's a food manufacturing facility in El Monte, California. The FDA's inspection revealed that the firm was not in compliance with federal regulations, which resulted in the issuance of an FDA Form 483 or what we call a warning letter. Some of the significant violations are as follows. Hazard analysis and risk-based preventative controls. The firm did not prepare or have prepared and implemented a food safety plan as required. The preparation of the food safety plan must be overseen by one or more preventative controls qualified individuals. This falls under PCQI, as we know. And their food safety plan must include the following. Number one, the written hazard analysis. Number two, the written preventative controls. Number three, the written supply chain program. Number four, the written recall plan. Number five, the written procedures for monitoring the implementation of the preventative controls. Six, the written corrective action procedures, and last, and number seven, the written verification procedures. Current good manufacturing practices. The firm did not take reasonable measures and precautions to ensure that all persons working in direct contact with food, food contact surfaces, and food packaging materials conform to hygienic practices while on duty to the extent necessary to protect against allergen cross-contact and against contamination of food. Specifically, the following were, was observed. On April the 30th, 2023, employees returned from break to the fresh rice noodle cutting and packaging area without washing their hands. One employee responsible for folding the fresh rice noodle sheets touched his ear and immediately handed the fresh rice noodles with his bare hands. Other employees folded and carried stacks of cooked fresh rice noodle sheets over their bare hands and forearms to prepare them for cutting and packaging. On April the 26th, 2023, two employees were packaging rice noodles while wearing their watches and rings. They were handling sheets of uncut and cut rice stick noodles, bundling them and grabbing them with their bare hands to place them into plastic bags. As the noodles are flexible, strands of noodles occasionally wrapped around the hands and wrists of the employees. On April the 20th, 2023, an employee stored his cell phone on the work table directly adjacent to the egg noodles. The employee's cell phone was covered in white noodle powder and egg noodle. On April the 26th, 2023, an employee with long arm hairs and weighing and packaging egg noodles using his bare hands, and the noodles came into direct contact with his forearms. On April the 18th, 2023, personal belongings, including a sweatshirt, two lunch bags, and a water bottle were stored on the top surface of the table where the rice stick noodles are cut and packaged. The firm's equipment and utensils were not designed and constructed as to be adequately cleanable and were not adequately maintained to protect against allergen cross-contact and contamination. Specifically, the following was observed. On April the 19th, 2023, an employee was placing rounds of egg noodles directly on top of cardboard boxes 
which had absorbed oil over time and turned dark as a result. On April the 21st, 2023, employees were soaking pancit noodles in a two-compartment sink filled with milky-colored water in order to cool before packaging. The plastic container contained black and brown residues and showed signs of abrasion and cracking. On April the 26th, 2023, a pot submerged in a bucket was used to measure and add the mixture into mixer tank of the rice stick noodle. The handle of the pot also appeared to be rusted. On May the 10th, 2023, the interior of the wash tank and the fresh rice noodle line used for rice in water had a crusty buildup of white, black, and yellow residue. The buildup was most apparent on the uneven seams of the wash tank. The facility stated the employees had already washed this line. The firm did not clean all food contact surfaces, including utensils and food contact surfaces of equipment, as frequently as necessary to protect against allergen cross-contact and against contamination of food. Specifically, the following were observed. On April the 18th, 2023, there was an orange colored residue on the surface of the water pump inside the rice tank of the rice stick noodle line. The tank was filled with water and rice, submerging the water pump and exposing the rice to this orange residue. On April the 18th, 2023, there was a white colored buildup on the pipes, electrical tubing, and water tubing in and around the wash tank and grinder of the rice stick noodle line. The pipes and tubes came into direct contact with the rice and water. Additionally, water droplets from the spraying water were forming and dripping from these pipes and tubes directly above exposed rice. On April the 19th, 2023, a dirty copper water pipe was submerged inside rice and water in the rice tank. A rusty release lever was located approximately four inches above the grinder hopper of the wash tank overexposed rice and the grinder hopper containing rice appeared rusted and are deteriorated. On April the 21st, 2023, a white buildup was observed on the surface of a two compartment sink immediately before an employee began washing pancit noodles in the sink. Further, there was a brown residue along the wall directly connected to the south. Greenish buildup along the base of the faucet, a yellow residue on the faucet knobs, and a dirty hose submerged in one of the compartments filling the water for cleaning the noodles. On April the 21st, 2023, two employees were weighing pansy noodles with tabletop scales that had pink and brown colored residue adhering to the face of the scale dial and underneath the scale plate. The back of the scale had a white and orange buildup and rusty screws, and the scales appeared to be a peeling paint deep seams, and discolored surfaces. The piles of noodles on the table and the noodles being weighed all came into direct contact with the scale surfaces. On May the 10th, 2023, an employee was rinsing egg noodles in a sink that had brown and black residue adhering to the edges. The noodles were placed into the sink filled with water and they came into contact with the unclean surfaces of the sink while being removed. On May the 10th, 2023, egg noodles were hanging out of and touching the dirty exterior of the white bins. Additionally, the white bins were stacked on top of each other covered with yellow, white, and black buildup and strands of egg noodles hanging out of the white bins came into contact with the dirty cart. The firm did not exclude pests from their food plant to protect against contamination of food. Specifically, the following were observed. On April the 18th, throughout the day, at least five apparent birds were flying into the warehouse, rice noodle production area, and egg noodle production area. On April the 18th, 2023, at least 10 Apparent winged insects were crawling wall adjacent to the rice wash tank and inside the exhaust vents directly above mixer tanks of the rice stick noodle line. On April the 19th, 2023, a hole in the wall less than a foot away from the rice soak tank of the rice stick noodle line contained remnants of old rice and apparent worm-like insects. On April the 19th, 2023, at least three apparent cockroaches like insects were hiding amidst the electrical wiring structure of the wash tank located adjacent to the rice grinder and directly above the rice soak tanks. On that same day, one apparent cockroach-like insect was dead on top of the rice directly beneath the electrical tubing. On April the 19th, 2023, at least four apparent birds flew out from behind the pansy egg noodle equipment. The roll-up door was fully open 
and the side door to the outside was slightly open during various times throughout the day. On the night of 419 through 420 of 2023, the loading door was left open by employees, pointed out by the FDA investigator, but it was later found wide open again. On April the 19th, 2023, at least one apparent bird was observed walking around the noodle frying station where both packaged and unpackaged deep fried noodles were sitting atop cardboard boxes. On April the 26th, 2023, one apparent dead mouse was observed between pallets in the raw material warehouse. The firm did not maintain their plant in a clean and sanitary condition and in repair adequate to prevent food from becoming adulterated. Walls and ceilings to and directly above the rice stick noodle soap tanks and wash tanks had yellow and brown buildup adhering to them. The floors throughout the facility, in walkways, and directly beneath and adjacent to processing equipment are pitted and cracked. There was a pink, yellow, and brown buildup of an area of the door located behind the rice grinder of the rice stick noodle line. The walls and floors adjacent to the two-compartment wash sink and fresh noodles wash tank had a brown and yellow buildup. The walls and floors adjacent to the two-compartment wash sink in the egg noodle room had apparent yellow and brown buildup. And finally, the firm did not properly store equipment remove litter and waste, and cut weeds and grass within the immediate vicinity of the plant that may constitute and attract breeding places or harboring for pests within the immediate vicinity of the plant. Specifically, of the following were observed. The exterior facility walls had an overgrowth of vegetation, specifically on the exterior wall containing the pedestrian door and loading dock door of the egg noodle production room. There was an overgrowth of plants above the pedestrian door and both doors were left open during employee breaks and production breaks. And last, the uncovered trash bins outside of the facility in the front parking lot contained food waste. On May the 10th, 2023, at least seven birds were eating from scraps around the trash bins. So my name is Donald Ray Abbott. You can look me up at www.food.consulting. This is what I do. I help prevent this from happening. I help eliminate these risks. And if you come into an issue like this, or the FDA has approached you or written your warning letter, please call me. As an FDA process authority, I can come in and clean this mess up for you. So don't hesitate to reach out. I hope you found this video educational. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, follow me for more content. Until next time, Donald Ray Abbott is out. Stay blessed, people.